all right welcome everyone the first game of round two group one game one we have the amazing players like b playing with the mongols as green player beastie playing as the mongols with batukan by the way uh, as a yellow player pink billy zane playing with the japanese as um, pink player orange clear man playing with the ayubid as saladin red myself playing with french as myself purple playing with french as wanderdorf ziterius playing with blue with the englando and Teal, Cosmos, playing with HRE in the Teal color. Alright, so players are selecting their spawn. And let's see if we will win this one, for sure. So, as you guys can see, they are really, really far away from each other, right? Teal in this corner, Blue is here, Pink is here, but the Dove here, the Yellow player, Green, Orange and Red player. So everyone has a really, really good start, really good spawn. I'm curious what they're gonna cook out of this. What will happen? The TC of Wanderdorf is up. Don't forget um, what you need to do when you start these tournaments. Example, you need to make sure all your modes are deleted. Um, make sure you always uh, freshly open the game so people will not crash right so amazing so let's see what will happen uh let's talk about the spawn of the players orange player has a good amount of berries as you can see a large gold multiple wood line amazing teal player also has a really good spawn he has berries deer gold stone stone gold berries berries gold deer wood wood berries stone stone gold <laughs> wow teal player has an insane spawn Dude, if i get this spawn i would be much happier a uh, red player got uh gold uh, one few berries wood wood a little bit far away stone far away berries and gold the green player got deer boar berries two wood three wood line and a small gold and a relic. So green player has a really good spawn as well, right? Boar is really important. Yellow player has boar, deer, berries, berries, wood. And uh, where is the gold? The gold is really far away. Both gold really far away, far away, deer. And yeah, um, everything really far away from yellow. So he has a good amount of food, wood, but the gold is nowhere close. Purple player has a boar and gold and stone, but no closed wood line. Pink player, oh my god, he has like everything under his TC. He has a deer, he has the gold, he has the wood, he has the berries, he has the stone. Everything under the TC you need, literally. And many, many boar in the corner. Look at that, two boar and a deer patch here. Blue player, um, berries gold wood i mean that's all right i would i would not call this is like the greatest spawn you ever gonna see but you know it, it, it it's cooking it's, at least it's, it's cooking it's getting cooked for sure oh a scout attack on the con you can't do that because the con will con you down all right on the other side so as you talk about Teal, he is like, has a, like insanely good spawn. Red player is still using the king to scout around the area. Orange player, aka clear man, is building the house of wisdom. He might be very close to age. He, he is about to age up. Look at that. He is going up to the next stage with a growth. 
which gives you three villager and additional 50 food on the berries. Now the problem is, he gathered up some of the berries and I think he will finish this one as well. Which is a huge mistake because he could have another 100 food. But accidentally collecting up the berry bush, he loses additional 100 food, which is sad. You don't want to lose 100 food, right? If you go up, oh my, heard the ball. Wow, beastie has 33 sheep in this game. The cutie, the beastie, the real beast has 33 sheep. Can you imagine? God, um, that, that's a that's a good amount of sheep. Let's see the other players. B has one sheep. Billy Zane has zero. Clearman has five. Red player has zero. Wanderndorf. Oh. Oh yeah. Um, there was no sound. So what happened with Wanderndorf is sadly he crashed. So Wanderndorf is out of the game because sadly his game crashed. And by the rules it says if it's after five minute mark, you can't um, ask for a restart. The reason why I put this rule in, because there was different tournaments where players abused this kind of mechanic of, uh, let's say, we don't know if they abuse or not. Wanderdorf uh, sent a crash report as well, which is fine, but if it happened after the five minute mark, um, five minute mark, I don't accept it. Next time you may need to make sure your PC or your game, everything is freshly started and um, you have no extra modes downloaded. Because since I'm playing FFA, I, I'm playing it like literally every day, right? I have no issues. I am not crashing. I did not crash a single game. I'm playing like instant amount of FFA. So sadly, Wanderdorf crashed, but it was a crash because he sent me his uh, warning dart log. But you know what is the fun fact? And listen to this. In this tournament, there was only like two real crash, right? There was only two real crash. I, th I think total two, two real crash where a player crashed. And there was a zero fake crash, which means there was not a single person who did Alt F4 or uh, shut down their window or anything like that, which is amazing. So... This tournament had no these fake crashes and, and you know, bullshitting and anything like that. So the tournament rules worked out really well. People did not try to alt F4 from their game. Because as I said, if you alt F4, I can see that. So you send me the warning dot, warning dot log. And if there is no nothing about the syncing, nothing about crashing, right? So... A warning dart log file shows the crash and etc. Uh, the king is going to die by BC and he will receive the 50 extra population. So what happens is you grab the warning dart log. In a warning dart log, there are like instant amount of information about what happened uh, in the game, why the game closed, where was the problem, and more and more and more. If I get this file. I already got shown as well how to read out the alt F4 because it will show the application got co closed by a user command which indicates to either task manager or alt F4 and that's why I can fight against those people who are claiming oh I crashed no brother you did not crash you did not crash it shows that the user used commands to close the game and not, there was no desync or any kind of crash. So yeah, I fought against it and nobody even tried to fake crash their game. So, yellow and green is fighting. Green player is claiming one villager alive. There are like multiple Kashyyyks are approaching. Yellow player aka Beastie tried to make a tower, did not work out and he's paying the price. Losing two villagers now and the tower got never ever finished. This is a huge problem since now yellow player can claim gold for himself, making extra cashix. Thanks God, he had enough to put down some. Uh, so he had enough gold getter to make a little bit more cashix, and he can get her the gold on the right side from the Wanderdorf base. Oh, by the way, his king was uh, not worth a point. 
So let's see what's cooking. Red players on board, building early farms to make sure there's going to be some aggression. Orange player is going up with the culturing advancement into barracks. I'm not sure if it's a good idea because you are playing against HRE. Even though the HRE is still feudal by now. Let's see how close to castle. Well, not really close. I, I don't, I'm not sure about this. Like, you need to kill this HRE in like 3-4 minutes. At the same time... Yellow uh, players chasing the Keshik Suite. Uh, oh my god, that was such a good... Oh, 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 Towers got garrisoned. No villagers got harmed. Maybe one villager? No, not even one villager. And a lot of Keshik died from uh, green. At the same time, Teal is scouting orange. Orange is up to the next age and researching the Iron Undermash. On the other side, blue and pink have a non-stop aggressive playstyle here as you can see a lot of angry women is beating up a king oh wow this is just like error am i right don't don't fight with the angry woman if you fight with the angry woman you, you're just gonna fucking lose oh yeah 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 the king and the king got defeated the angry woman have won aka the honor bugesha by the way fun fact for some reason the Onobugesha uh, charge sound is the same as the Musafa the Warrior. <laughs> I have no idea why. Which which doesn't make sense, by the way. Beastie is still uh, trying to protect his base against his opponent. Who is going to Castle Age with the Stepper without, but at the same time, Beastie is doing the same. He's going to Castle Age with the Stepper without. Cosmos. Going to Castle Age as well with the burger. Since he knows the glums are coming, right? The glums are on the way. Orange player is getting some berries, making his stand, making a lot of gulams. So he doesn't even care about uh, uh, going to 2TC, some economy boom or anything like that. He's just trying to dent um, teal in. Now, I'm not sure about this. Like, you need a lot of rams. If you want to kill an HRE player, you actually need a lot of rams. Like, one ram is, is not enough. Okay. <coughs> oh, B forgot. He forgot to... Ooh. He forgot to move the girl. And now the villagers are not... Oh, okay, never mind. I just had to say it. I just had to say it. You know, I just jinxed it. Oh, Beastie put down his star Evers wrong, right? Because now he can't put the... Um, stepper it up there. He has to uh, put it here. Which is bad, because if he gets a raid from the left, those villagers have to run a lot. Orange player is still trying to dent blue. Blue player with the white tower. I don't think that's gonna work, brother. There is no way that's gonna work. Ain't no white tower in here. Orange player with the rams trying to destroy teal. But the marathon with the heavy maces has arrived. Question is, will he protect the ram? You have to protect the ram, otherwise it gets destroyed by the villager. On the other side, White Tower. That's what I'm talking about. Remember, chat, what I said about the rules. It offers such a huge amount of uh, aggression between the players. Everyone is aggressive. Everyone is doing some fight. The second TC going down. Orange is really, really strong. Blue is still trying the White Tower rush against Pink. So he can stop making villagers for that side. He can stop, he will stop using the farms, no extra food. The Dwight will go up, I'm pretty sure. He is really going for the kill on the pink player. The white tower, the white tower, but what's, what's the price? What's the price for the white tower? 25 villager versus 36. The price was high. Orange player is three trying to dent uh, teal him. The question, will it work or not? Yellow is also denting green. non so fight between the two Mongol players. The empires are clashing together. The question is, which Mongol will be the biggest... Unga Bunga? 
which Mongol will win this? Oh, the Rams are already coming out from the White Tower while the pink player is building up his first siege workshop. Oh, Orange is fighting against Steel right now. I don't think that amount of Gulam is enough. Those Marathons, they have heavy maces, don't forget that. So they are amazing against armor units. I don't think Orange has enough Gulam here to beat down all those. But don't forget, he killed a good amount of Teal Villager. That's really important to mention, of course. Well, the bird game doesn't go down, the units will survive. And with that, on the other side as well, Rams are breaching the Damyo Manor. You can hear one, two, three hit by, the, by those amazing Rams. And also, don't forget, because the network of Castle, these English Rams have faster attack speed than a normal Ram. They have 4.19, while a normal Ram has 5.5. Oh my god, that's a huge attack speed increase. Holy. Okay, the, the English Rams are actually much, much better than a normal Ram. That's crazy. I would not even expected that. While a green player is moving on the map, trying to snack on some booty. And I'm curious which booty he's gonna snack on. Ooh, blue player should have moved his king to the uh, white tower. But he forgot. Yellow player? Still thinking. I think he can dent on green now. The green, green is not close by. Right? I'm pretty sure he can. At the same time, red player has attacked orange player. There is a huge fight between the two player. Teal player also has arrived into the battle. He doesn't want to give red player freely the king from orange. Red is moving back, trying to stabilize. Destroying some of these little small buildings. Because the rams have some spacing issue here. But still, fo now focusing on TC since one of the buildings is gone. So the other rams can uh, surround the town center where the king of orange lies. At the same time, green player is denting blue player. His king is still inside the TC. He's really heavily trying. Who gonna get the first blood? Who gonna get the first blood? That's the question I'm asking right now. And the TC is down. The king is free. The first blood. Claimed by Red. Alright, let's see. Now, Blue. We'll get Danton. Oh, wait. The King is outside from Pink. Well, the White Tower down as well. There was no aggression happening in Green's base. And... Green is still denting on a Blue's TC. Boom. Blue is the... Oh, wait. The king. He forgot the king. Why did he forget the king? What's happening? Oh, no. Green forgot to kill the king. And if someone claims that, that's half a point. Green got one point, but not claiming the king. He is losing on half a point, right? Because the land last landmark has fallen. Ay, 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 ay. Yellow destroying. He could have go with the landmark first for one point and kill. Oh, okay, never mind. He got he got the king. He got the king. So what you can do if you want to try playing greedy at the same time, but red is attacking till. What's happening? The amount of aggression happening in this game is crazy. Looks like red mostly dented till army. That's. Oh my god, that's really intense here right now. And at the same time, the landmark is fallen! Pink is running! And Pink has lost his king to yellow player. That's crazy. Red is denting the villagers of Teal. How many villagers has Teal has right now? 29! The king was out from the TC for a while. More and more villagers are falling. Teal on 22 villager. Red on 97 villager. 
Yellow on 55 and green on 55. Did you just keep losing villagers? Damn. Now, if I was red player, I would go for the sacred side to the middle. Because there are only three player left. And Teal has no villagers. That's the two villagers he has. And at the same time, you, you, you can see what's happening. Green player is heavily attacking yellow player. Monks with multiple vololos trying to claim the soldiers of green without success. But at least he's delaying the attacks. He's gaining upgrades and more unit to the field. Also tide barn, which is really, really important. His reinforcement has just arrived to his base. Even though the Volo was only successful once, claiming one Keshik, the time is ticking for Yellow Prayer. Ay, 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 ay. Green Player is still dancing on. Red Player has moving to the middle with a bunch of villager. At the same time, Green and Yellow is still fighting. Red is putting back the army from Teal after killing all those villagers. There is still a huge fight between the two Mongol Empire. The question is, which Mongol player will be the strongest one? Yellow is using his little monks trying to heal the Kashyyyks he has. Yellow, some extra warrior monk has arrived to the field still making the Kashyyyks, trying to hold on. This is an H4 versus H3 fight right now. I just heard an age up. A red palace! A red palace has appeared in the middle. Yellow with 55 total units on the field versus green with 87 total population. Question is, can yellow come back? Can yellow do anything in this situation to not lose the game? Oh my god, what, what, what is not a warrior monk? I'm pretty sure yellow doesn't need more warrior monk. He needs some knights or, or mangudai or something like that. Would be way more uh, useful. At the same time, red is preparing to the middle. He wants to capture the sacred side before yellow player falls. Bringing some knights as well. Let's see. The monk is out. About to capture the sacred side. Don't forget the amount of uh, player alive when the sacred side timer has started. The amount of points uh, red will get. That means one, two, three points. If he kills one or two player during the sacred side timer, that's extra points. That means, if red player captures the sacred side when there are three players alive, red player has, has uh, uh, red player is here, red player is, he wants to stack on the king. He wants to stack on the king. Uh, but that's not enough knight. So if he killed uh, yellow right now, that would be an additional extra one point. Because the points are counted after the uh, sacred side captured. But sadly, red couldn't claim that one point. Yellow made enough units, he tried to kill some of the yellow units, but did not work. So there are like two other options. He can try to kill green for addition of one point, or he can uh, try to kill teal. So again, if one player alive at the end of the sacrifice, that's a sacrifice victory, right? So what happens is there are three players alive, right? Teal, green, yellow. That's three point. If red eliminates green, that's another one point. If uh, red eliminates teal, that's another one point. That's five points now. But if yellow surrenders, that's still calculated as a sacrifice victory since he surrendered because the sacrifice victory. So you get all the additional points plus the elimination points as well. Green is on the look. I wonder what is he searching for. Red player has walling. He is walling the sacred side right now. Some villagers on the map, gathering some gold everywhere. 
I think green player is trying to snap teal, right? But teal, what teal is doing? Just pinging the king locations, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he is pinging the king locations. Okay, green player is trying to look on a snack. Green player is really, really close to TLTC. But he changed his mind. And red player is coming to teal. So green is going back. The king has arrived to the middle. As you can see, red king is inside the red palace. But at the same time, yellow player has started destroying green stun center. So, some... Bololos, but not really close to the TC. Green army is not even close. Will green survive or fall to the beast? And the king has fallen. Yellow player, the beast, has claimed the B. But I'm sure... I did not step on a B. Oh wow, Teal player at the same time has run away from his TC to his little corner and Red player has arrived to claim the booty of Teal. Red is getting closer and closer. Unsuccessful. Red player tried to use the pavis for the extra range because the king was here and you can snipe through the gate with the crossbow. At the same time the middle with keeps and red palace siege workshop making a ribaldo queens. And of course crossbow. The walls are going down slowly. Yellow is about to come as well to sneak that kill out from the red player. The question is, does he have enough time to kill the teal king? Or will the teal king fall? Well, that ram uh, kind of, you know, move. That, um, you know, rams. Kek W. The wall is not done yet. It's very close. Yellow is coming in with a small army, but we are ready to claim the king of Teal. It has died. Yellow army has arrived way too late to make the victory. Yellow is going back to the middle. While well, red has been prepared already with some ribaldo pins, crossbow and spring gold. Let's see what yellow has. Yellow military is 52 Keshix, some horse archer, palace guard, elite knight, bombard, nest of bees, and the Huey Huey Pow. <clears throat> Yellow is going back to the middle. Hey, Ray, you are coral blind. Oh, yo, yo. Knights versus Kashik and Elite Knight from Rus. E, those red knights will take the bite. But at least it's a delay. Because now red is delaying the reinforcement to the middle. Don't forget that. Those uh, yellow units could be in the middle way much sooner. But because the delay. Uh, they couldn't regroup in time, which means yellow still, ay ay ay, he does not have enough time. He's pulling the villages, he's pulling everything, trying to stop the... Oh no, he's going for the red palace first, but the Ribaldo Queens, don't forget, the Ribaldo Queens are here, trying to protect the red palace, killing units left to right. Red palace still has a lot of health, villagers has arrived as well to torch down the keep. 
But the king is already on the other keep. Ribolo queens claiming the lives of Keshix and villagers. Bombards trying as well. Warrior monks trying to vololo. But sadly, unsuccessfully, because the Red Palace has mowed them down. And in the end, Red Player has won game one from stage two from group one.